by saying I'm good enough to make it. If you never said a curse word in your life, hey, you can't make it. You've got to have Jesus. He's the only way that we're going to make it. Hey, hey let us wake up and let us quit sleeping and let us go out and start telling the lost and dying world that Jesus loves them, that God loves them, and they want them not to abuse them, not to take their money. You can't be saved by money. That's what it said. Why do you sell yourself for naught and you can't be you can't be redeemed with money. You can't be redeemed with sacrifices except that that Jesus made. And it said that you'd be redeemed. And it without money, you'll be redeemed by the, what Jesus done upon that cross. And you'll not be redeemed by what you can buy. These seeds that you can plant, they can stand there and preach, send me this $10,000 and plant a seed. Praise God. Get down on your knees and ask forgiveness and ask him to come into your heart and save you and he will plant the seed. Praise God, honey. He's the only one that's going to plant it. They can't take it and get out here and buy and sell it and act like that they have done something to other because they, they was two in the Bible up here in Acts. They uh, got saved and entered in. I don't know if they got saved or not, but they joined in and Ananias and Sapphira and they took and promised the Holy Ghost that lived in them. They promised them let us sell this piece of land. Let us sell it for so much and we'll give it to the church. Well, they, the Bible says wasn't his children to do what you wanted to with. But why did you lie to that Holy Ghost? Why did you tell God that you was going to do one thing and then you helped back part of the money? And Ananias as he stood there before Peter and them and he told them, he said yeah, he said I sold this for so much but he didn't say I kept this back and he fell down dead and the young men packed him off in come his wife here uh, two or three hours later it said and she done the same thing and it said the same young men went in and wound her up and packed her out and buried her beside her husband hey young ones you can shorten your days you can lengthen your days you can be obedient to God or you can be disobedient to him and if you don't do what he asked you to do that's disobedience let us not be disobedient to God and let us be obedient and when God says go let's go not dreading man not fearing man That's right. because God said let's go and when God says let's go it's on both ends so many people just tried to turn this around to wealth They've tried to turn this around, Jonathan, to be get rich by and to make money by. And, uh, and you know, uh, it, uh, it said, you know, uh, there was one Simon, and he walked with Peter in them. And he saw the pairs that they had through the prayers to God. Honey, they would lay their people out there beside the streets uh, hoping that Peter's shadow would just cast over them and they could be healed and get up and walk off and go home. Yeah, but Simon took it and he walked with them. He watched this for about a year and then he seen them uh, praying with them and laying hands upon them and he saw them uh, talking with new tire tongues and he saw them filled with the Holy Ghost. He seen it with his ass but he didn't accept it in his heart he accepted it he wanted money back and he asked him he said what can how much of money will you charge for this yeah. Oh, yeah. Peter and them said your money perish with you you've got no part in this your money is going to perish you cannot buy it it is not for sale and under no circumstances. Jesus bought us and paid for us with a price. We are no longer our own keeper. We are bought and prayed for with that price and that price is the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Honey, he's our keeper and we will do what he wants us to do or we ain't got no business of standing here tonight. And we've got no business out here of running up and down this world and saying I'm saved and I don't care about the rest of the world. If you're saved, you've got a love in your heart that you want to give it to each and every man, woman, and child in this country. And his thirst freely if they will only accept it. It said, whosoever believeth 
their heart and confess with thy mouth shall be saved. That's not a high price. That's not a high price at all. But we tell they'll take and don't want to do it. I was 48 year old when I turned to the Lord. I was 48 year old when I got saved and I know that I got saved because people thought that I was cracking up, that I was having a spiritual breakdown. Brother Jonathan, I was around you in them days and we was a shouting and a praising God all the time, every time we got a change. But we're just a little bit colder now than what we was then or I am. I'm a talking about myself and I don't go as much as I used to. But praise God, honey, we still right there. We've been in Slate Ridge about 11 years and we've got no intentions of leaving because God has took and placed us in that church. It's God's will that we stay. It's God's will that we all work together and it's God's will that this unity and harmony is there for all of us and we, are, we just have a great time. 